you have A, B, and C. So from here, which line segment will make 90 degrees with the base? Well, it's going to be the line segment AC itself. It's going to be this line segment. Okay. So over here, this one is going to be the altitude. What about the other two sides? What about the other two sides? Um, in the sense, you mean, ki, uh, how are we going to have an altitude over there? Yeah. See, so this is the altitude from A to the base BC. Now let's see an altitude from the vertex C to the base AB. Okay? Okay. Because we have three altitudes, right? So we're gonna, we can have one. Okay, so this is definitely not 90 degrees. So we have to put it something like this. This one looks like 90 degrees. This one is 90 degrees. So this is another altitude. Okay. Okay. Then here you have the third altitude also. Which one is the third altitude? From the vertex B. From the vertex B to this um, side, which is AC. That one is going to be something like this. Let me show you. Um, yeah. So here, see, this one is not 90. This is not 90. This is 90. Yeah. This is 90. Why is this 90? As you can see, it's 90. So this is another altitude. See, uh, Hiba, I think you would have been able to understand yesterday's lesson better if you were, uh, you know, able to solve with a pen and a paper. If you had a, if you were like practicing simultaneously, it would have been stored inside your mind because these very same things I told in the previous class also. Um, but maybe uh, because you weren't able to, you didn't have like a pen or paper at hand, maybe that's why you weren't able to understand. But I hope you're able to understand it this time. Yeah, I understand now. Very good. So this is the case with. But can you um, can you explain uh, how did you form the purple altitude? Which one? The purple one. Okay. Um. See, Hiba. Let's say I am not doing it. Let's say you are doing it. Okay. You are dropping up an altitude from C to this line to this uh, side, AB. Where will you do it? You will do it in such a place that it will look like 90 degrees to you. So you will say something like this. This looks like 90 degrees. This thing, this thing looks like 90 degrees. The angle the altitude makes with the base. How is it 90 degrees? Okay. See, let me just show it to you once again. Oops, sorry about that. Do you have a protractor now? No, I don't have a protractor. Okay. Well, if you see, this is this is the problem. Um, if you had a protractor now, you would be able to measure it and see that it is very close to 90. Do one thing, zoom in. Zoom into that angle where I've drawn the small square. The okay, 90 degree angle, the purple one. Zoom in. Tell me, does it look like 90 degrees to you? If you want, you can rotate your phone also. And look at the angle. I'll tell you which angle you have to look at. You have to look at this angle. Tell me, does it look like 90 degrees? Yes. Hmm. Is, a, is your doubt cleared now? Yeah. Okay, very good. All right. So the same thing we can see in an obtuse angled triangle as well. I'm not going to draw all three altitudes in this. I'll just draw one. Okay. See, from this um, vertex A to the line to the side BC, we're going to have to draw an altitude. But as you can see, 
from here till here no where can i find a 90 degrees no where can i find a 90 degrees except if i go here like this it will make a 90 so this if i just extend it like this then over here it's making a 90 so i come to know that this thing this is the height what is the height this one okay understood very good okay now um can you give it a try now the question in the book question number 4 5 actually um you'll have to for the, for the do this part you'll have to do it um with cutouts but with question number 4 and 5 just try to do it in the class itself give it a try uh which question you have to try now question a uh, page 115 think discuss and write question number 4 and 5 Okay can you think of a triangle in which two altitudes of the triangle are two of its sides uh, what is a scalene triangle a scalene triangle is the one in which all of the sides are of different lengths then i should i i should set a triangle can you think of a triangle okay isosceles let me just show you okay ba isosceles let me draw, draw an isosceles triangle for you wait okay this is an isosceles triangle and this is my a b and c now we're going to draw altitudes okay so this the altitude is this for this side the altitude is this wait yeah that looks more like it for this side the altitude is this the question is saying the altitudes are the two of the altitudes are sides of the triangle here the altitudes are not sides of the triangle are they what do, what do they mean by sides of a triangle they mean the altitude should be the side of the triangle for example the altitude is ab it should be like that but over here the altitude is not ab can you think of a case where two of the um altitudes are going to be two of the sides of the triangle a uh, equilateral triangle again let's try with an equilateral triangle oops Okay, so we're gonna draw the altitudes. For this one, it's here. For this one, it's here. For this one, it's here. Yes, Hiba. How are the altitudes? The sides of the triangle. I still didn't understand what they mean by sides of the triangle. Can you see this, Hiba? this option this uh, example the right angle triangle yeah can you see that ac the side ac can you see the side ac in this triangle the one at the at the bottom this yeah one. side ac this is the side also is side ac an altitude yeah yeah that's what they are saying that name a triangle or give an example where two of the altitudes see this triangle has three altitudes right 
Yeah. The pink one, the green one, and the purple one. The pink and the green ones, they are actually sides of the triangle. So that's what they mean. Did you get it now? Yeah, I understand now. Okay. So it will be like a scaling triangle. See, it has to be a right angled triangle. Yeah, the answer will be right angled triangle. Just see this, no? What type of a triangle is this, Hiba? Um, hmm. Scaling triangle. Okay, it is scaling in the sense that the sides are all different, but there are different forms, different um, categorizations of triangles, right? You can categorize them on the basis of, their, of the length of the sides and you can categorize them on the basis of their angles. So if you say, if your answer is scalene triangle, then well, look at this triangle. This is also a scalene triangle, but over here, that's not true. Over here, you don't see that uh, the altitudes are the sides of the triangle. See? Over here, it's not like that. So if you say scalene triangle, if your answer is scalene triangle, then that will mean that for every scalene triangle, the altitudes are going to be sides of the triangle. Whereas it's not true. It's not true for this one. Yeah. Right? So yes, the, the triangle on the bottom is a scalene triangle, but other than that, what is it? What is the speciality? Or you can say, what is the characteristic what is the trait of this triangle which is making it such a way that the altitude turn out to be the side it is because of the yeah, fact that the angles, yes two of the sides are at 90 degrees with one another that is why the altitudes are coinciding with coincide means um you know being the same Altitudes are the same as the sides because of the fact that altitude means 90 degrees. Altitude means 90 degrees. And here you have a 90 degree already there in the triangle. Are you getting it now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, just a sec. Um, the question number five is, can the altitude and median be the same for a triangle? Yeah, we did this in last class. Very good. It can be the same, but not necessarily. It's not always the same. Yeah. But yeah, in some cases, it can be the same. Can you give me an example? Okay, let me tell you. Example is isosceles triangle we saw in last class and equilateral triangle. Okay. Okay, but <clears throat> um, let me show you how. Wait, let me show you how. This is an equilateral triangle, right? Look at this, the pink one. It's a median yeah. also. Why is it a median? Because this a part is equal to this part. Or you can say that this point is the midpoint of the base, right? Similarly, the blue one is also a median because it is the midpoint of the base. Yeah. And the purple one is also a median because it's the midpoint. So in equilateral triangle, this is an equilateral triangle. All three altitudes are medians. Okay. In isosceles triangle, how this is an isosceles triangle. How many altitudes over here? How many altitudes can you see? 
One. Bacha, how many altitudes are there? Uh, so the three. Altitude? Yeah. There are three altitudes. How many altitudes are the medians? Now think of median. Median means it is dividing the other side into two equal halves. <clears throat> how many of them are medians? One. Which one is the median? The pink one. The pink one. Exactly. So in an isosceles triangle, only one um, altitude. Median. Yes, one altitude is median. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, Hiba. Now let's come to the exercise 6.1. Okay, can you try it out? Yeah. Uh, in angle PQR, D is the midpoint of QR. P, uh, and uh, segment PM is dash. <clears throat> yes. So line segment PM is what? What does it look like? Uh, like uh, the median. PM, but PM. Look at PM. Look at PM very carefully. Altitude. Yes, it is the altitude. And what is PD? Which one? PD. PD, um, PD is the me median. Yes, it's the median because. They are saying that D is the midpoint of QR, right? If yeah. D is the midpoint of QR, that means this part, this portion is equal to this portion. So PD is the median. Very good. Now the question is QM equal to MR. What are they asking? QM is this part. Is QM equal to MR? No. No, they're not equal. Okay, next one, Hiba. A draw rough sketches for the following. In angle ABC, BE is a medium. But uh, it's triangle ABC. Uh, sorry, sorry. Huh. In triangle ABC, BE is a medium. Okay. Can you draw it? Yeah. Draw a uh, can I send you ABC. like the pictures on WhatsApp later? Um, can you send it now? Is it possible for you? No, I don't have a phone right now. Okay. No. Um, all right. All right. So let's do one thing. Do these two as homework, okay? Okay. Question number two and three. Fine. Please note it down. Okay. Okay. So, please go back to my board. All right, Eva. So now there's, let's come to this. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm going to draw a triangle here. So let's say, Hiba, you have a triangle. And let's say I extend this. I extend the same line. I extend it like this. Okay. Now, you have these three angles, right? One, two, three. Um, first of all, Hiba, 
um there is a property of triangles property means it is a characteristic it is a fact about triangles that when you add up all the three angles what do you get 180 very good that is called the angle sum property okay so now another property is called the exterior angle property what does that mean that if you have this angle okay let's say whatever this angle is um let's say it's x okay and the interior angles let's say this is 70 this is um 55 and this is 55 okay so the thing with x can you tell me how much is x going to be look at just look at 70 and x do they form a linear pair yeah yes they form a linear pair because just a sec because uh, clearly we can see that they are adjacent and they fall on the same line so they are a linear pair so 70 and x are a linear pair so what does that mean x is equal to 70 x is equal to how much 70 think again heba uh 180 minus 70 very good so x is equal to 180 minus 70 and that is a uh, one uh, 170 180 minus 70 is 170 no 100 uh 10 110 so x is equal to 110 do one thing add these two angles what do you get 110 exactly so when you add these two when you add these two you get this angle now this angle is called the exterior angle why because it is outside, outside the triangle these two these two are called interior opposite angles what does that mean well of all three of them all three of them this is set this angle as well as this angle as well as this angle all three of them are interior angles of the triangle right because yeah. they are all inside the triangle so they are all interior but interior opposite means they are opposite angles to x right they are far away from x as for the 70 it is forming a linear pair with x right so it is not going to be opposite to x but these two this one and this one they are interior angles yes but they are also opposite opposite to x so they are interior opposite angles of x okay let me give you another example let's say you have another triangle okay and um, can you move back to the fifth page i will just write it down quickly Okay, we can continue. Okay. So there will be yeah. I'm gonna give you this example. Let's say this is a hundred and ten. 
I'm sorry, that that's not one hundred and ten. That's seventy-five degrees. Okay. This is ninety-five degrees. Um. Wait. This is seventy degrees. This is ninety-five degrees, and this is. Um. Yeah, once. Yeah, so it's going to be fifteen degrees, right? No, is it fifteen? Wait a second, Baba. Ah, uh, no, it's not going to be fifteen. It's going to be. No, it's fifteen only. Yeah. Is fifteen. Okay, so what is this exterior angle going to be? Can you tell me? Um, one eighty minus seventy. Seventy, very good. One eighty minus seventy, and that is one hundred ten. One hundred ten. Now look at fifteen ninety five. Yes. Add them, and what do you get? One hundred and ten. So it turns out. So this is the exterior angle property. That the exterior angle is equal to the sum of interior opposite angles. So let me just write it over here. Angles. Did you understand this? Yeah. Okay. So it's the um, same. It's the same step with every angle. Um. Sorry. So like it's the same step with every triangle. Same step. Okay. Yeah. 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 It just has to be an exterior angle. Okay. Oh. Hmm. All right. Ah, uh, let's take one example. Okay. All right. So this angle is x. This angle is fifty degrees, and this angle, let's say, it's one. Hundred degrees. Okay. You have to find angle X. How will you do it? Um. Apply the exterior angle. Exterior angle property. So fifty and hundred. We will add them first. No. What are you supposed to add, Hiba? What are we supposed to add? One eighty minus fifty. No, Hiba. What are we supposed to add? What are the two angles that are going to be added? Sum of sum of interior opposite angles. What are the interior opposite angles in this case? X and fifty. X and fifty. Very good. So, what are you supposed to add here? X plus fifty. X 50. plus fifty. So X plus fifty should give you what? Hundred. Very good. It should give you one hundred because that's the exterior angle. So X is equal to fifty. Very good. X is equal to fifty degrees. Did you understand this, Iba? Yeah. Can you give me more examples? Yeah. Okay, so um, let's let's straight away go to exercise six point two. Okay. Okay. We have a lot of examples over there. Okay, I did. Let me share my screen so that I can. 
can see my uh, screen now. Yeah. All right, let's get started. So the first one, what is the value of X? Uh, 50 plus 70. Very good. And that is going to be? X. Yeah, X is how much? Uh, 50. Yes, yes. 50 plus 70, you were saying? What is 50 plus 70? Hiba? Can you hear me? Uh, 120. Very good. 120. Okay. Please note it down. I did. You did? Very good. So next, let's come to the second part. What is X? First of all, see this, okay? This is X. So what are the uh, interior opposite angles? 65 and? 60 and 45. 65 and 45, right? Okay, so what is X going to be equal to? 65 plus 45 and it will that give is? us. That is? calculate Yeah, yeah, do it. It will be 110. 110. Very good. So X is okay. equal to 110. X is equal to 110. Very nice. Next, we have this. What is X equal to in this case? Uh, X is equal to 70. Very good. X is equal to 70 because the Interior, interior opposite angles, angles are 30 and 40. Are giving the sum as 70. Okay. Next, uh, yeah, it's over here. Here? Uh, X is equal to 120. Very nice. And in this case? X is equal to 100. Very good. In this case? X is equal to 90. Very nice. Very good, Hiba. Next. Okay. Find the value of the unknown interior angle X in the following figures. Okay. Let's do the first one. Yes, Hiba. Uh, it will be X plus 50 will give you yes. 105. 115. So, even 115. So, X do becomes... We have to do, so, yeah. do we have to put the uh, 50 on the other side? Yeah, that's called the transposition method. Okay, wait, I will do it. Uh, X is equal to 65. Very good. 65 degrees. Next, let's move to the second one here. X is equal to? X. Uh, do we always have to add in? See, you have to just think 70 plus what will give me 100. So you have to do 70 plus X. You have to add them, of course, because that is the interior uh, exterior angle property. 70 plus X, that is going to give you 100. So what if in uh, instead of 70, there was 100 and instead of 100, there was 70? It wouldn't be. That wouldn't be possible. You know why? Why? Just imagine a triangle where this is a 100. Okay. This is 100. This is X. Okay, this is 100. And this outer one, does it look like 70 degrees to you? No. No, right? It's way more than, it's even more than 90. It's an obtuse angle. So, the exterior angle property tells us that this exterior angle that we have over here, right? This is going to be 
bigger than this also and bigger than this also. Why is it bigger than both of them? Because it is the sum of both of them. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, X plus 70 gives 100. And then we will do 100 minus 70. It gives 30. So X is equal to 30. 30. Very good. Next. This one. X, X plus 90. Very nice. 125. And then we will mm -hmm. say 125 minus 90. And then yes. X is equal to 35. Very good. Very good. Next, we move on to the fourth part here. Um, X plus 60 gives 120. Yes. And a 120 minus 60 is 60. So X is equal to 60. Very nice, Eva. Next. Um, X minus X plus 30 gives 80. Then 80 minus 30 is, um, is 50. Very good. So X is equal to 50. Very good. And then X plus 35 gives 75. And then yes. 75, sorry, uh, 75 minus 35. 35 is 40. So X Very is equal good. to 40. Excellent, Hiba. Excellent. Very nice, mashallah. Okay. So, um, yeah, now let's go back to this. Think, discuss, and write. Okay. <clears throat> what can you say about each of the interior opposite angles when the exterior angle is a right angle, obtuse angle, and acute angle? Let's try it out, okay? I'm going to share my whiteboard. Let's try it out. You have your textbook in front of you, right? Yeah. All right. So they're asking, what can you say about each of the interior opposite angles. Interior opposite angles means this one and this one. What can you say about them when the exterior angle is a right angle? Okay, so in the first case, we need to make a right angle. Let's do that. That means exterior angle is a right angle means this one. Okay, or let me do this instead. Wait a minute. Okay. What can you say about each of the interior opposite angles? Yeah. What they are both this question acute mean? angles. They are both acute angles, right? And it is right angle. Uh, the interior opposite angles. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, when the exterior angle is an obtuse angle, then. Obtuse. What does this question mean? Well, this question is asking, what are the interior opposite angles going to look like? Here they look like an acute, they, they are both acute angles, right? Yeah. Let me give you one more example. Here, 
the exterior angle is obtuse well here also it was obtuse only interior angles may say you have this one is acute but this one is obtuse right so what they're trying to say is let me just show you one thing and let me just show you the last part and then you'll get the point of the question the last part is what will happen if the exterior angle is an acute angle okay all right so in this case both of the interior angles are going to be acute always right you can't yeah. have an obtuse angle over here why because this one this angle is already obtuse so you we know that in any triangle we can have only one obtuse angle we can't have more than one obtuse angle so both of them they have to be acute they can't even be right angles in this case uh in the case where we had a 90 degree over here also both of them will be acute angles always they cannot be right angles they cannot be obtuse angles why because this one this angle is 90 degrees and we know that in a triangle if there is one 90 degrees then the other two have to be acute they cannot be right angles they cannot be obtuse angles because then the sum will go more than 180 which is not possible in a triangle okay so both of them are always going to be acute if you're not understanding this don't pay much attention to it um this is just an extra thing okay but if the exterior angle is obtuse then the interior angle it can be acute also one of them can be obtuse also right also okay okay that's that's all it's saying yeah okay um yeah let's do this one try these question number 1 an exterior angle of a triangle is of measure <coughs> 70 degrees And, and one the second question is uh, through right. Can the exterior angle of a triangle be a straight angle? Hmm. That means it can it be one eighty degrees? You tell me, Hiba. Yeah, in exercise think? exercise six point two, the first question, the first part, hmm. it is a uh, and straight angle, right? But so what is a straight angle, Hiba? Like. A one eighty degree. Can x can the angle x ever be equal to one eighty degrees? Look at the example that you're talking about, and look at it and tell me: Is it one eighty degrees, Uba? No. Then it is one twenty, right? Yeah. Yeah. Straight angle means one eighty. Can the exterior angle ever be one eighty? no why not can you show an example yeah okay see let me show an example where it is a right angle okay fine so just look at these two angles that are here look at these two angles and look at this one the exterior angle again i'm going to give you another example now look at the two interior angles okay and look at the exterior angle oops sorry look at the exterior angle we want to make what what are they saying can it ever be a straight angle straight angle means 9, 180 <coughs> so see here we were 90 degrees 
here it's almost like 120 degrees so we're slowly slowly moving towards 180 okay let's try and see whether we can get 180 which we can't i mean you're right about that we can't but the reason let's see the reason let's let's take it very close to 180 okay this is one side and this is another side can you can we, you see how small we, it's become if we try to make it 180 then it won't be a triangle anyway exactly the reason being we know that the sum of this right this is equal to the sum of the two blue angles okay whatever this is let's say this is like um a and b angle a and angle b so what you are saying is angle a plus angle b you want it to be equal to 180 degrees why because you are saying that this exterior angle should be 180 degrees if this is 180 that means this plus this is 180 right because exterior angle property getting it yeah yeah so but can that cannot be 180 why because we know that angle a plus angle b plus angle c that should be 180 right yeah because in a triangle there's a third angle also okay, so that is why it cannot be equal to 180 degrees fine all right um now we have uh five minutes remaining but um we can uh we can continue because the next topic you already know it which is i have we have discussed this uh, in today's class also angle sum property can you can you tell me what you understand by angle sum property once again heba like uh adding all the sides of the angle the triangle adding all the angles of a triangle triangle what do you get 180 very good sum of all angles of a triangle is 180 degrees okay um Hiba, there's a there's a very nice um, uh, activity to show you this it will require cutting and pasting um okay do you want to do the activity right now yeah the cutting and pasting one uh actually i'll try to do it on uh, paint okay um okay so i think there's another student that's gonna enter the class at like in three four minutes Mm, okay, Hiba? Yeah. Give me a minute. Till he enters, we can do this. Let me share my screen. Okay. So you can see this paint screen, right? Yeah. Okay. So the sum of the angles we are seeing is 180. <coughs> that means, whoops. I'm sorry about that. This angle plus this angle plus this angle gives you 180. Now, what is 180, Hiba? Try to remember what is 180. A straight line is 180 degrees, right? Yeah. A straight line is 180 degrees. So that means if if we can show that all of these three angles they sum up to one, 180 let how can we do that uh, let me try this free form selection okay so okay so this is one angle i put it here this is another angle can you see me like uh, i don't know if you're able to see it I'm just cutting and pasting it, okay? Yeah. Uh, I have to flip it over. How do I flip it? Um.
Okay, I'm not able to flip it. One second, ba. Um, I thought there was an option like this in Paint. Oh, there it is. Found it. There you go. Whoops, it's covering the entire thing. Wait one sec. Let me do it once again. We have two more minutes. Okay. All right. Rotate, flip, vertical. Oh, there you go. Uh, I have to rotate it, but I wait about. I have to erase this whole thing because I didn't make a proper triangle. All right. We have one minute remaining. I hope it works this time. So this is one angle. This is one angle. And this is another angle. And this is my 180 degrees. Okay. And select. Okay, this and then this and then I'm going to flip it vertically. Let's hope it works. Can you see that it's fitting very perfectly? Yeah. Yeah, all three of them are fitting. Yeah. So that means the total angle that they are making is how much? 180 degrees. Yes, this total angle, this total angle is 180 degrees. Okay. So this is an activity that you can do like in real life. You can take paper and you can make cutouts and everything. Um, but I try to show through paint and it's kind of difficult to do that. But yeah. That's okay, I understand. Yeah. So... All right, so that's about it. In the next class, we'll be doing some questions from the next exercise. Okay, Hiba? Okay. Okay. When is the next class? When is the next class?